Hi, Instagram. Welcome back to ARTV, your guide to current events within the aesthetic industry. I'm your host, Vivian Ichendu. Thank you for tuning in to episode two, where we continue supporting small businesses that are doing big things. I'm proud to introduce today's guest speaker, Ryan Heath, a commercial executive in the healthcare industry and CEO of Aesthetic Practice Solutions, a brand that develops products to help aesthetic practices improve their efficiency, profitability, safety, and patient experience. Ryan, thank you for joining in today. Please help our viewers get to know you, your brand, and the exclusive Brevo line of products, which includes the very popular Brevo board and syringe holders. Yeah, thanks, Vivian. Really appreciate you having having me on. Um, so, you know, I live up here in Wisconsin uh, with my family, and I knew Don Segrillo, who's really the the mastermind and the brains behind uh, our products. But I knew her from her presence in our community up here. She runs uh, an amazing a very successful medical spa uh, called Refresh. And um, I, you know, a few years ago, I was running a 3D printing business uh, focused on developing products for the healthcare industry. Um, so Dawn and I were talking one day, uh, she was telling me about some ideas she had that she could, um, you know, use some products and, and uh, develop some products to make her practice run even more efficiently and knowing Dawn and knowing a bit about her practice I thought that was impossible because I know she runs a very organized very safe very efficient practice so I was very intrigued and uh, we sat down had a meeting and kind of sketched out some of her ideas and you know at first um, I, I really didn't know a whole lot about the aesthetic industry so I had to do some learning but after a little bit of research uh, we did some market research and really understood what she was trying to do, I thought it was genius. So I was immediately on board um, and saw the vision she was uh, she was trying to create. So we got to work. And uh, one of the first things you know I did was 3D print our very first prototype. And I actually have it with me and I can show it to you. We, um, we ended up sketching everything out in a, in a software program we uploaded that to uh, a 3D printer that we had in our uh, other business. And we came up with this board. It's very different than what it looks like today, but you know, the concepts are still the same. So we yeah. you know, had these holes, we placed these holes very strategically and, uh, and, and then overlaid an image, uh, which ultimately turned into the Brevo board. That's incredible. So is it, did you also design the image? Yes. So the image really came from, uh, from Dawn, you know, she wanted to have something very visual that she could use in her preparation along with uh, a visual that she could use with uh, patients and educating uh, them about this, the procedures she was going to be doing. That is amazing. Well, we know that one of the most important yet often overlooked processes in a clinic seems to be inventory management. In addition, because not all EMRs like aesthetic record offer any sort of inventory reconciliation, you have sticky notes, you have napkin diaries, you have glove guides. Um, so how does Brevo board assist a practice and go hand in hand with an EMR to make sure that clinicians are executing proper patient care procedures? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, so. The way Brevo boards assist a practice um, is really driving some efficiency into their day. And the way that works is it's, and I use this analogy a little bit, it's like going into a meeting, going into a business meeting, either with an agenda and being very prepared or without an agenda and not being prepared. And this uh, concept of the Brevo boards allows you to go into a patient meeting or a patient uh, visit or a consult already prepared with notes and your plan is set. And it's just like any other meeting where some things may be tweaked and you may change or you may change a dose, but for the most part, your plan's ready. So it allows you, if you prepare the day before or the day of, uh, before patients get in, 
it really gives you a chance to get ahead of your day and use that time with your patients so wisely. And um, also gives you time to, to build rapport with your patients and get to know them um, on a personal level. So, you know, that efficiency is driven into the practice through the Brevo boards. What I know a lot of our customers using Aesthetic Record tell me uh, is that it also allows them to chart and streamline their charting practice on the back end a little bit uh, better. And the great thing is you can do both of them at the same time. I, I know that if you're prepping the day before or the morning before your patient comes, um, just having that tool right in front of you and then you have the patient come in your room, you take those quick before and after photos or videos and you have all of that um, integrated together and it just makes everything more efficient, more productive, and then it also engages the patient too. Absolutely. Uh, the patient engagement piece I think is critical. Um, I've actually sat through and gone through these uh, treatments myself with Dawn it, it, just to get to know how the process works. And I can tell you sitting in the chair, um, hearing her speak and hearing her staff uh, educate me about a, a certain treatment or a certain product, uh, having those visuals is, is absolutely critical. And then I know going back as a patient, you also get to see what your results were and have those befores, before and afters available with the next treatment plan ready to go. Um, I think it just sets you apart. How did Brevo boards enhance the efficiency of patient care? Yeah, so, you know, the, the big part about efficiency in patient care is making sure that you are ready, you're prepared, you're organized, um, before the patient even arrives. So uh, if you're behind by the time the patient gets in, you're gonna have to waste a little bit of time looking something up or trying to plan while the patient's in the room or you're drawing up a uh, product in the, while the patient's there and you're trying to talk to the patient at the same time or catch up on how their day's going or how things are going. So if you have a chance to get ahead of that, um, it allows you to become more efficient with that time. It allows the patient to be more efficient as well because you know, they, they probably could use that time back in their day as well. I mean, the goal is that your practice has back to back to back to back appointments with every clinician, every provider. So just saving yourself a little bit of time um, helps make the flow of appointments go by, but also make sure that you're, you're taking care of your appointments on time. Um, so that's, that's really great that you mentioned that. Yes, I, I agree. And, you know, if you went into Dawn's office uh, at any point in time, uh, she would have 50, if not more, Brevo boards stacked in a refrigerator um, wow. that they prepared. She and her, her staff prepared that morning um, in, in, in uh, preparation for the, the patient flow that day. So when the patient arrives, they pull out that board all their uh, products and notes have been taken from the charts. And when the patient arrives, they're ready to go. And, uh, and you just talk about efficiency. That is uh, pretty much the, the pinnacle of efficiency in a practice. It's pretty amazing to see. How do Brivia boards support patient safety? Yeah, this formula for me is really simple. Um, organization equals safety. So especially in healthcare, when you have multiple people possibly um, interacting with a patient or interacting with a product or drawing a product up and getting it prepared for uh, injections. Uh, there are a lot of things that can get miscommunicated. There are things that can go wrong in that workflow. Um, I know a lot of practices out there are very good and there's a lot of safety measures in place. And our goal is to help that. Uh, so. Our boards, the Brevo boards, just add that le an extra level of organization, uh, allowing a, an injector to review a patient chart before they get in, make some notes on what their dose or what they think the dose is going to be for the, that particular patient um, right there on the board. They can draw up the, the product, clip it into the board, and now it's ready to go. When the patient arrives, um, we often, you know, we'll, at, we'll get the question, well, what happens if I want a different dose? Um, I've seen in Don's practice, it's okay. Uh, and I've seen Don use it on me, in fact, uh, where she might say, oh, I want to tweak this dose a little bit that I thought I was going to give you. 
all she does is she pushes in or pulls up a little extra product and um, it's ready to go. So, you know, I would say 99% of the plan is, is ready and set. And, uh, and, and therefore she is super organized. Her staff is super organized and they're all on the same page by the team, by the time a patient arrives. So efficiency and safety. Can you tell us how Brevo boards also elevate the overall patient experience through education? Yes, and this is probably my one of my favorite parts. Um, so when you look at patient education and the patient experience, patients, you know, generally, and, and I, I think there's a lot of them out there, probably like me, who want to know what's going on. They want to be uh, educated. They want to understand what the procedure is, what the treatment is, or what the product is. And they also kind of want to know what to expect. Like, what's my outcome going to be as a patient? So with a visual tool like the Brevo boards, it gives you an extra uh, element of that expl to explain what you're doing and how you're doing it and what a possible outcome could look like. So having some details uh, that we've uh, incorporated into the image around certain muscles and certain features in the face, um, allowing a, a uh, clinician to draw on the boards to show how they might lift the muscle up or, or uh, where they might place uh, a particular injection and the reasons they place it there. Uh, it just gives you a level of information as a patient that you feel very comfortable that your uh, provider knows exactly what they're doing. They know exactly what they're talking about. And you just feel confident as a patient that you know uh, what you're going to expect or what to expect when that procedure is over. And, and you look at the evolution of healthcare over the last, you know, decade or more, um, you know, I think it used to be a little bit more of a one-way dialogue where you kind of went to a provider and uh, they told you what they're going to do or, you know, you knew what the procedure was going to be, but you weren't as educated. You know, there, we didn't have as many tools available to us where we could Google something or talk to someone or hear about it on Instagram or all these social outlets. Um, now you come in a little bit more engaged as a patient because you know some questions to ask or you may want to ask a little bit more deeper uh, questions around a product. So I completely agree. I think that dialogue is so important and it should take place. All right, so Ryan, can you explain step-by-step step just how easy it is to use Brevo boards? Because I'm sure people are like, this is one extra thing I have to add. This is one additional um, step that I have to do. So show us how easy it is to use it. Yeah, it's, it's a great question. And I am no stranger to workflow in healthcare. Uh, I used to do that in, in, in my previous roles um, in other companies and understand how tough it is to change workflow and I know um, how impactful that can be to uh, a very small practice or a very large practice. Um, so I, I am not naive to how uh, tough it is to think about changing a workflow or a practice the way you've been used to it. But I would say the benefit of the Brevo boards, the extra safety, the extra efficiency outweighs a, a few of these workflow steps. So I'm gonna kind of summarize it uh, a little bit and, and there's you know a couple of details uh, that I, I can talk through, but if you really summarize what's going on here, before the patient arrives, you have step one where you wanna review the chart, understand uh, what you did with the patient last time, what were some of the procedures or treatments that, that the patient had. That allows you then to take some notes, um, how you might want to treat the patient this time, what is their plan going to be for uh, for the products, and um, what are they going? You know, what's their ultimate goal? So you might have some of that in the EMR as well that you want to pull out and make sure you, you stay in line with what the patient's goals are. At that point, then you begin to align the product to the plan. So that's where you draw up your product, uh, like Dysport or Botox, and you clip in uh, the product or the syringe into the Brevo board in the appropriate places where you're going to be treating the patient that day. Uh, at this point, you're now ready. The patient walks in. This is a great time, Vivian, for like you mentioned before, where to have that dialogue with the patient, use the board as an educational tool, as a discussion guide um, to explain what you're going to be doing uh, this time in this uh, particular appointment. Once you're finished, uh, you can wipe down the Brevo board 
Um, but before that step, I think this is really important. And this is where we found a lot of our customers getting some value out of this. They have a chance to take a picture of the Brevo board with all your notes on there, the patient name on there, the dates on there. So some of those important details. So you upload uh, the Brevo board picture into your EMR and now you've got that documentation for next time. Um, and that's a really nice step. And I know uh, a lot of our customers um, use that feature because it saves some time in the day, especially with charting when you're, uh, when you're really busy in the day, charting's really tough. Then it's time uh, to wipe down the Brevo board with any antibacterial wipe and it's ready to go uh, for the next patient. So Ryan, where do you see the future of supportive instruments and tools like the Brevo board um, accelerating patient care and enhancing clinician performance? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, an important question. Um, in, enhancing patient care, enhancing provider uh, performance, um, accelerating uh, some of the performance is, it, it, you know, it's top of mind for, I think, probably everybody in the industry and it, as long, it, along with safety, I should say. Um, that's, that's always a given. So that's a reason we've always concentrated on those areas and we will continue to. Uh, so I see, you know, this going in, in a positive direction in which we are looking at problems that exist in practices. And these can be small problems, they can be big problems. But what we've found is, you know, if we concentrate on those pillars around performance, efficiency, profitability, patient experience, we really try to find some of those areas where we can help a provider improve. If we get too broad, uh, then we sort of are developing tools that are outside of our scope. So for us, the vision remains around those key pillars. I think um, the, as, as now with a lot of practices, um, probably gonna have to alter their, their workflows in some way, shape or form, we're gonna be looking for new problems. So we're always interested in engaging and working with uh, providers, uh, understanding what some of the problems they may be having and then coming to us and working with us to solve those, those problems or challenges uh, around those pillars. So um, that's where I see our future going. I see that's where we're gonna be focused our attention on developing new products and finding new problems to solve. I'm curious, do you have any future developments in store to also support a set of professionals? Yeah, we do. We do. Uh, Ooh, we do have fun. Products uh, coming down the pipeline, and uh, they're very exciting. And you know, a lot of these, again, they stem from people like Don. So Don is a wealth of uh, of product ideas, and uh, she's always looking at, at ways to solve. Uh, little challenges and big challenges in her practice. Um, so working with Dawn, I'm working with other uh, doctors and, and nurses and nurse practitioners, uh, physician assistants. We literally have ideas coming from all over the industry, which is so much fun. Uh, I just wish I can multiply my time to, to kind of tackle them and, and work through them. But um, we do have some new products. And I think, you know, even the, a couple of the products that we've added on beyond the Brevo boards, like the anatomy boards came out of uh, some of the, the practices we talked to and the training companies we talked to where they said, we like the boards, we don't necessarily need the clips, but we want to be able to have a very visual um, image to, to teach from and uh, teach new injectors or experienced injectors on new techniques. So we developed the anatomy boards to do that. And uh, the syringe holders, uh, were born out of Dawn's practice where she was looking for a way to be able to set down her syringe um, and any size syringe. So we kind of had to solve for that, but she wanted to be able to set down a syringe without the risk of contaminating the needle. So our Brevo syringe holders were born out of that where you can now uh, set down a syringe um, without worrying about contaminating that needle and, uh, and pick back up and, and uh, go through with the procedure. So uh, making it very easy one-handed uh, use with those syringe holders. Those are the things that kind of help in, in a practice and even a solo practice where you don't have an assistant. Uh, sometimes, you know, a, a few seconds and a few minutes throughout the day add up and it allows you to see a, 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 maybe another patient that day or spend a little extra time with a patient that might need the time. So those are the problems we're, we're focused on and working with uh, a number of people across the industry. So hopefully I can share more next time 
on some of these great ideas we're, we're working on. That would be awesome. We'd love to have you back. I mean, you and Don seem like a huge dynamic duo with all the things that you guys have in store. <laughs> well, uh, that's nice of you to say. I have to tell you, I this wouldn't exist without Dawn. So she's Aww. she's the driving force. I just get to play a, a small part in helping bring the products to market. And, uh, and that's what makes it fun. That's why she's been a great partner. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I definitely look forward to seeing what the future holds. Um, I do know that you have the syringe uh, holders available for purchase. You have the Brevo boards, you have the anatomy posters. So um, thank you so much for allowing us to even offer that to AR users. And I, I know there's gonna be more in store and I'm excited, I really am. Thank you, Vivian. And I just wanna give a big thank you to you and your team, uh, Justin and, uh, and Tiffany. You guys have been amazing partners doing things like this, allowing us to be a part of your marketplace. Um, it's such an important thing for a small business like ours as we try to grow. Uh, having great partners like you uh, is critical. So thank you all for, for what you did. That's a wrap for episode two of ARTV. If you are an Aesthetic Record user, please make sure to log in to market.aestheticrecord.com where you can purchase your very own Brevo board and accessories to help deliver consistent and efficient patient care. If you are not an aesthetic record user, but wish to join our AR family, visit aestheticrecord.com, where our team is eager to chat with you. If you're a small business doing big things and would like to be featured on our next episode, email me below. I look forward to seeing you all soon.